have to get my thing to put it on. I guess I could start now. I mean, this is just really, this is pretty real, pretty raw. I don't even, I haven't used this camera since my last, where does it look like my, hey, since my last video. Oh my gosh, this is weird. It's been a long time since I've like talked in front of my camera disregarding Instagram stories, but I've missed it. I feel a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. I am an awkward person, but, and I have a bad habit of not looking into the lens when I talk, so it looks like I'm not looking at you, but I promise I'm trying my best. Okay. Yay! Um, so, I am planning on doing a what I eat in a day right now, but I also just kind of want to update you guys on, like, my life. Even though I kind of update you on, I'm trying to get this screwed in, but, like, talk to you guys. Give me, like, one moment. So, I'm trying to, I just work out. Like, it's, you might as well, I might as well just be in my natural state, you know, not gonna like put up a front for you guys, but I mean, I'm gonna shower later and then if I continue to film what I eat in a day, I'll look more presentable than this, but okay, so hi. I'm back from five months on YouTube, which is weird. It's been a long time and I don't even really know what to say or where to start. I mean, it's been, I finished my freshman year of college. Woohoo! That was good, interesting, fun, challenging basically any word you can think of ups and downs yeah so I did that um, let's think my Instagram is about fitness and health so let's talk about my fitness I have already told said this on Instagram but obviously not everybody sees it so basically what I've changed with my fitness is not much but kind of, kind of much. I started doing weight training pretty frequently. I also started to train less. I train about four times a week and take two rest days or three, duh, seven days a week. So four times a week, sometimes five times a week. It's generally, I still stick with the motto, listen to your body, I, that has not changed and I still, train whenever I feel like it and if I don't I won't um what else also personal goal of mine is to get out of the habit of saying um and looking away whenever I feel awkward and messing with my face and my hair and my body whenever I feel awkward that's now I'm putting myself out there and telling you guys what I do whenever I feel awkward and nervous so you can call me out on that uh let's think so with my fitness, I do a lot of weight training now. I still do plyometrics. I just don't do as much cardio, which I feel like is kind of obvious because looking back to whenever I first started my Instagram, which was, it'll be, I just checked the date that I started it and it was June 22nd, 2017. Today's May 23rd, 2018. So I have one month yesterday it was one month exactly until the okay this is so sorry but like the one year anniversary of my account I'm excited because I'm gonna be so honest that's probably one of the best decisions I have ever made in my life was making that account for more reasons than one um one I I think the older that I've got I've learned to just be and I don't I never want to sound cheesy, but I feel like I do. I've learned to be vulnerable and I love where it's gotten me. I feel like it's gotten me pretty far. I mean, farther than I was. It's helped me to, it's helped me in so many aspects of my life, mostly with my past of eating disorders and just kind of dealing with those thoughts that you feel like will never leave you. And I know like if you've had an eating disorder, if you currently have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like those eating disorder thoughts that just may not even be there. And then one second they just pop into your head or they may come slowly and like they come in like waves. And 
it's just so hard to explain and I know it's going to be hard to understand if you don't have an eating disorder or if you've never had one. But dealing, I feel like I'm being such a scatterbrain right now. I'm just excited because I just feel like I have so much to say even though I do talk a lot on my Instagram stories. I just, I feel like this is more personal because this is going to be on YouTube and you guys can always go back and watch it and like I've been talking about for two weeks now, still don't have Instagram highlights. I'm probably being annoying about that, but like, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating because if I had them, you guys could go look at all of my stuff whenever you want because I know that that must be annoying. Like, I post my workouts now on my Instagram stories and like try to like screenshot all those or do like a screen recording. Like, that's annoying because if it was in my highlights, you guys could just always go back and look at that. And, but I, but I was looking this up about why I don't have them and some people were saying Instagram's like, rolling them out in batches but it's I don't know why especially Instagram like that's a huge industry you know I feel like they shouldn't really have these like technical difficulties like that but whatever I'm not uh, it's fine but it's just frustrating because I want them and I see other people's and I'm so jealous I, I already envision that whenever I get them I'm going to have a grocery haul highlight what I eat a day highlight just like food and then like a soul food highlight which is like my my more junky like indulgences and then I'll obviously have my workouts um what else skincare I was gonna do another video on skincare I could honestly do it right now ironic because my skins I'm actually breaking out right now but I've developed a skin routine that has actually I think benefited my skin so much and honey and it's sustainable and it it's made it's very ma maintainable and I love it I mean it, it's very pretty it's like natural whatever I that can be a different video but um where was I even going I say I was saying I was being vulnerable and then I got into Instagram highlights I don't know but anyway yeah so I was talking about whenever I started my account it's been almost a year one year anniversary yay so I do not regret it at all. Looking back, I feel so silly for even questioning if I should. I remember before I made it, I was so nervous and I was like, oh my gosh, people are gonna think I'm so weird. People are gonna, like, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I'm not that muscular and I just, sometimes I, I'm only, I'm 19. I was 18 whenever I made that account and I'm not, certified for anything i plan to get certified to become a personal trainer not to become one but to be certified to be one and then also to be get my nutritionist certificate be certified for, to be a nutritionist i don't even know if i'm saying that right but i want to do both of those things so i can because i love to help people with this this is my passion if you can't tell health and fitness has become my passion because of my past with eating disorders and in my past with eating, with eating disorders, that's where once I like saw the light, for me the light is Jesus and that he basically told me like this is the path I want you to take like, like how do I say this? He, I just basically felt like this is what I need to do, like I want to be glorifying God, I want to be like acknowledging him in front of man or you know you know all that but anyway i just i was told i need to help people who dealt with who are dealing with what i dealt with or who have been there and still need help getting moving on if that makes sense i'm sorry i'm not trying to get deep or anything but this might have to be split into two videos because i feel like this is this is gonna be long it's already how long is this already? I can't even see. But, um, nine minutes. Okay, no, this is gonna be split into videos. This will this will be like a high update, and then I'll still do record it what I eat in a day. But anyway, so I I don't regret making that account at all. I don't. I've making that account has helped me build relationships with people through social media, which is so cool because like there are people from all over the world and that's pretty awesome like even though i don't get to actually hang out with them and talk to them in person it's still just as cool and i've still built friendships and i actually have friends that i've made through my instagram account that i would feel comfortable like going to and talking to them about something personal which sounds pretty crazy because it's like online i haven't even met them but 
come in my DMs. We can have some pretty deep conversations, I'm telling you. Especially just, I don't know, I've had a lot of people ask for guidance and that's what I want to be here for is I want to give people guidance and I want to show people that health and fitness is not something that's strict and has to have certain guidelines and you, there's only one way to be healthy, there's only one way to eat, one way to exercise. I want to show people that a healthy, it's a healthy lifestyle, not lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like it's not, you don't want to live the rest of your life on a meal plan, on a diet, having restrictions and just doing all, you know, I'm, I just want to show people that number one, like there's hope if you're struggling, there's light, like you will get to the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you those thoughts that are in your head do not stay there forever. They are temporary. Like just, just talk to me, just message me. I will help as best as I can because that's what I love doing. I love it. I love it so much. And I even still now, I know, I mean, I'm 99% positive. There are gonna be people that are like looking at my account and think that I'm embarrassing myself or that what I post is weird or that I look gross. I know that everybody has their own opinions and you cannot please everyone, it's impossible. But I knew that whenever I started the account that I would face negativity, I would have judgment put on me, I would have negative opinions and I knew that coming into it and I don't regret it still even if people think I look gross or I look unfeminine there is no there's no right way for a woman to look that is an opinion and whatever I'm getting so all over the place I'm sorry maybe I'll just show you guys what I eat Actually, here, let me slide on into the diet section of this. So, what's changed with my diet? Um, kind of a lot, kind of not. I'm actually so hungry right now. I'm ready to, ready to eat. But, so, with my diet, during college for about, I would say, four months, I was like, accidentally vegan. And, plant-based vegan. And I say accidentally because I was in a dorm, so I didn't even really have the option to cook like what I would cook at home. I would always cook like poached eggs and salmon and all of that stuff. But in the dorm, like I have a microwave, so you get what you get and you just got to work with it. So that's what I was doing. And I just wasn't eating animal products, not really on purpose. I didn't really like set out and be like, I'm going to be vegan. It was just, just kind of happened. And that was great. It was cool. I, I, side note, just putting that out there, I don't have anything against anyone's way of eating. I don't, you can eat however you want. Like, I don't have a judgment towards it. I, you, you just, you do you. Whatever, whatever makes you thrive and feel good, that's your, that's it. That's your answer. And so, I noticed that whenever I was doing that, I know I was not eating enough protein and I'm not saying you can't get enough protein on a vegan diet. You 100% can, 100%. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to start that controversy. Like I 100% believe you can get enough protein on a vegan diet, but um, I just wasn't. And but I also wasn't like trying to, and I didn't really realize it at the time until I would go to the gym. Like after a few months and I just could not do what I used to be able to and I noticed I was losing definition and blah 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 But it was fine like I purposely like You know I was just I dealt with it whatever But now ever since I've been home for for the summer like from college I've just been eating fish like I used to And I love it I'm so obviously I'm not a vegan I eat egg whites, fish I don't eat meat not because of kind of for ethical reasons but you normally or not normally but mainly because i just don't really like it that much and i don't i never crave it never have craved it even when i was younger so i but i fish mm, seafood i will eat anything from the sea literally anything i people think i'm gross i eat sardines i like i love it all i know it sounds gross and but I like it, so I'm gonna eat it. And what else? I still eat 
my diet is still plants like that the bulk of my diet is plants that has not changed I would say I supplement with fish and I supplement with protein I actually used to only use vegan protein powder and now I use vegan and whey I just kind of switch them out alternate literally whatever I'm feeling that day I'll just do it um, no specific reason really at all I actually used to be afraid to use whey protein I thought it would make me bulky blah 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 you hear it all the time whatever not gonna get into that either but all of a sudden one day I just decided to try it loved it flavor was great I've tried various types I really like optimum nutrition and I also really like the VPX sport VPX sport vanilla dream and I've also tried the, I think it's like Ideal Fit, Ideal Lean. It's like a women's protein, um, or like it's called Women's Ideal or something. But I like that one a lot too. That one, my two flavors that I really like are the Chocolate Brownie and Vanilla Cupcake. Oh, Vanilla Cupcake is so good. I'll put that in my oats sometimes and it's literally just like I'm eating melted cake batter or something. So good. It has little sprinkles in it too, it's cute. Anyway, so my protein sources now are vegan protein powder, fish, egg whites, and whey protein. And then obviously the plant-based proteins like beans, lentils, quinoa, etc. <sighs> Let me think about anything else that's changed in my diet. Honestly, the only... Hey mom, the only thing that's really changed is just my protein intake. That's about it. I've increased it significantly and I love it because I'm trying to get stronger and I'm trying to, I'm not really trying to like gain weight. I'm trying to gain muscle mass though. So I mean, I guess I'm trying to gain weight, but like I'm not trying to gain like body fat, if that makes sense. Also said this in an Instagram story, but I'll say it again now. I do not, do not bulk or cut or nor would I do a bikini competition ever not because I don't like it not because I think it's weird or have a bad opinion of it solely because I have a past with eating disorders and I can 100% say that if I got into bulking and cutting specifically cutting I would backslide and my mental state would go through the roof and I would just it would not be good I just don't Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. I intuitive eat that's it I eat what my body wants but obviously I do eat a generally healthy diet because I love it and I love 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 the way it makes me feel so yeah I love fish <laughs> um I like to put egg whites in my smoothies and in my oats yes you can eat raw egg whites I would recommend trying them first in little doses like maybe a few tablespoons, I'll do half a cup in my smoothie, which is kind of sounds like a lot. But try it first, ease your way into it because your stomach might be like, what the heck? And it might get you kind of crampy and like you might digest it weird. So you might, you just kind of got to ease your way into it. But I've been doing it for months and haven't had any problems with it. I love it. Can't taste them. Doesn't make the texture in my smoothies weird or anything. <sighs> okay, this is, oh, this is so long. Okay, I'm going to go. This is basically my update I can update you guys more in like future videos but this is it oh my gosh I'm so happy to be back uh, okay bye <laughs>